you gotta do is say yes. Don't think about what you feel, baby. I'm glad that you made me open up your mind and just rest. I'm about to let you know you made me so. All you gotta do is say yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Jessera Brianna. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm really keen on creating a community on my channel where everyone is engaging with one another, conversing in the comments, following each other on social media platforms. So if you want to join the fam, make sure that you subscribe and turn all your push notifications so you never miss a video from me, okay? Okay, because today I'm giving y'all the tips. We're going to be doing some self-care. I'm having a pamper day at home for my girlies who want to remain on a budget and do things yourself. Or if you just like me and don't like to call people and make appointments, girl, this one's for you, okay? I'm going to be starting off with some skincare. We're going to be doing some dermal planning, which is basically just saving your face. Um, if you don't follow me on TikTok, do that, boo, because I posted this whole routine on my TikTok like weeks ago. And... Thanks to y'all, it hit like 70k views and I was shocked, but it showed me that a lot of people are interested in self-care and skincare in general. So yeah, I'm going to start with that. However, throughout the video, I will also be doing my lashes because I want to wake up looking like a baby or a single day. And I'll be doing some Gel X nails, which I have never done before. I'm kind of over the personal situation. So let's just jump right into things. Okay, first things first, you need a really good cleanser. If you are anything like me, you have sensitive skin, meaning you should invest in a cleanser that is gentle, but can still get the job done because you need clean, clear skin. Okay, so this is my fave. I use the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. They have another foaming cleanser that's not the cream kind. It's in a whole different bottle. I've never touched that one. This is the one you need right here. The other one, I don't know her. Okay. So I already washed my face in the shower. Hence why we looking good. Okay. I'm coming off my cycle. So my skin isn't the best, which is why I really need to do this right now. So yeah, next thing is to do a mask. Y'all know how people be doing those, um, those extractions with the tools and whatnot. I have that kit. Got it from Amazon. However, those leave marks on my face. And I found that it is best for me personally to put on a mask such as the one that I'm holding right here from The Ordinary. It's the salicylic acid mask. This is my go-to when I want to do extractions. Like, I don't want to do them physically. I would rather put something on my face like this mask that's going to pull things out of my pores and give me a deep cleanse over... Probing my face with tools that end up leaving marks because my face loves marks. It's so hard for my skin to get rid of dark marks and I hate it. Now that my face is already cleansed, I'm going to go in with this mask and I'm going to put this everywhere, okay? It's so good. It's so good. Like, this is the best mask I've ever used in my life, okay? And this video is not sponsored by nobody. Alright? It feels like it's burning, but that means it's working. It's literally pulling everything out of your pores. If you are like me, you have congestion on your chin and on your nose. That's where everything finds a way to get in all my nicks and crannies and seep into my pores, like lotions and moisturizers and dirt and makeup. That's where things love to live on my skin. This mask right here pulls it out completely. So I'm just gonna cover my entire face with this mask and I'm gonna let it sit on my face for about 10 minutes so i try to do an even layer all over my face and i like to put a little bit extra on my nose because like i said that's my problem area and she's gonna get dry after a while shout out to my edges because they looking fire okay period um it's not a peel off mask or anything like that so when it dries your face is gonna feel super tight it's gonna feel like you got a facelift i never got a facelift but assuming that that's what it'll feel like tight as hell basically like this coach so no it's <laughs> your face is gonna feel super tight and super dry and that's when you'll just cleanse it off with lukewarm water okay so i'll come back when my face is clear what person say i'm back and i'm better <laughs> i'm 
So Trent, I don't know about y'all, but me, this girl, I'm hairy. I definitely have a unibrow right now. So gotta get that together. And the stash be going crazy. And I just wanted to get rid of the, I be having too much, too much hair on the sideburns and I don't appreciate it. So today's video is heavily saturated by the ordinary products just because they are too good. So this is the facial serum that I use day and night. Um, it's the salicylic acid and I like to put this on my face when I'm dermaplaning because it's like a nice smooth oil and it makes sure that um and it helps me make sure that I don't nick myself because please don't do that. And when it comes to the blade that you use to shave your face, baby, don't use these. Don't use these. I don't care what you do, but don't use those. Okay. I use the Sephora, the Sephora girl, I use the Sephora facial razor okay i love her it comes with four blades three in the back and one in the actual blade i love this thing okay it looks like this it's fancy schmancy and it's very sharp um but it's really good quality and basically all i do is drench my face in the oil i like to pull at my face and i shave downwards i don't go against the grain when it comes to my face babe okay and then make sure you have some tweezers on standby to get the little hairs underneath your eyebrow um and i also use a little spoolie to get the girlies together this is just bomb like you're, when it comes to dermaplaning, you're basically doing so many things in one. You're caring for your eyebrows. You're getting rid of your, uh, getting rid of your mustache. I can't wax my mustache. This shit hurt. So, it's just easy. Do not touch your face with your droplet applicator, okay? That allows bacteria to transfer from the bottle to your face, and we don't want that. Okay, guys, so I'm done. I'm about to add more oil to my face. So right now I am patting in my other serum from The Ordinary. Um, this is their hyaluronic acid. This is very moisturizing. Uh, I think these two serums together are the products that have helped my skin when it comes to evening my skin tone. I had crazy uneven skin tone. There's an uneven complexion in general before I started using them. And they've helped a lot. Alright, okay. so it's time to do my lashes now. What's a pamper day without getting your lashes done? Like, be fucking for real, okay? So, I know I've done my lashes a thousand and one times on my channel. But for the girlies who want to see it again, this one's for you. Five steps to doing your lashes. For one, get you some self-fanning eyelash extensions i'm using the ones from vi's ink but girl go on amazon okay go on amazon and get you some regular regular self fanning lashes that's the important part okay so once you got your lashes to make your fans that's why it's really important for you to get self fanning lashes because if you get the other ones they don't clump okay so once you get your lashes make your um fans that way your application process is much easier get you a really good glue i am using the i am the long lasting individual adhesive and it's waterproof this is the glue i'm using today sometimes i use the one that's not waterproof it's it's all the same as long as it's i am the, and as long as the color is jet black this is the best glue ever okay 
Um, in terms of application, you want to start from the outer corner and work your way inwards. And when you are applying it, you want to go underneath your natural lash. You want to go really close to your lash line, but never on it. If you touch your lash line, your lash is going to be super duper uncomfortable. And nine times out of ten, that's going to make your natural eyelashes fall out. And we don't want that, okay? Um, last thing, number five. If you want a natural look like the one I'm going for in today's video, you want to start on the outer corner with long MMs and then work your way down to shorter lengths once you get to the inner corner. So yeah, I think I explained everything. Let's zoom in, honey, so y'all can see the seat. Okay. Your skin come through. Period. lashes are done i ended up using a mixture of the 0 0.05 d curl in 15 mm with the double c 0.15 mix um and i use like 13 mm 12 mm and 11 mm for my inner corner this is what we got basically what what, what do lash sets we call it is like a hybrid set it's not really volume or mega i don't like my lashes real dark i kind of like them see-through which is probably like an unpopular opinion but yeah skin is looking good lashes are looking great next thing up is nails i'm going to be trying the g what is it the gel x i bought a ton of things from amazon all of the links will be in the description box below. I need to create like an Amazon storefront. But yeah, let's get into the nails. Okay, you guys, so this is my little step up. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see my beautiful face for this portion, but it's okay. Uh -huh, I'm so funny. All right, so I already went ahead and um picked out the nail tips that match my fingers right now i am about to push my cuticles back and um get rid of any like dead skin this is the before and then i'm going to show you guys the after when i'm done um so i'm just taking this little tool right here to push back my cuticles and stuff like that so yeah this is my first time doing this process so i kind of want to talk through it with you guys because i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> I got all this stuff from TikTok and then the little cuticle cutter that you're supposed to use during this process I broke mine so I'm going to be using this little tool just to get the old gunk off so now that your nails look something like this it's time to buff them out Okay, boom, we are fouled and buffed and ready to go, my little boy nubs. <laughs> so next, a lot of people go in and buff the inside of the tips. I don't have one of those drills to buff the inside of the nail. 
Um, so I'm going to try to do the best I can with my file. So we're going to go to the next step, which is adding the Nail Prep Dehydrator to my real nails. You're supposed to follow this with a primer, but silly on me, girl, I don't have that either. So my nails probably won't last as long. But I just suggest that you get every single thing that you need and y'all nails should last longer. So now I'm going to take this 4-in-1 nail glue gel. And then I'm going to paint one nail with the gel and then cure under this little itty bitty lamp. This is so cute. It's so tiny. So now that I have added the gel to all of my nails and I've cured, cured, however you say it, all of my nails, it's time to add the same gel to the actual tips. And what I'm going to do is apply a lot of gel towards the bottom portion of the nail and then I'm going to add a little bit extra at the end, you'll see. And every single video I've seen... On TikTok, thanks TikTok University, they say to, I don't know if y'all can see, they say to put the nail down at like a 45 degree angle and then press down to ensure that you don't get any bubbles. So I'm going to run through this process and let y'all watch. skincare that I did in today's video you saw me install my own lash extensions and you saw me struggle a little bit with the gel X but they came out pretty cute I'm a perfectionist so some little itty bitty things will irritate me but y'all see I must be filming them because now I'm talking with my hands and I'm, make, I'm you know letting them make a little noise 
I just slapped myself on my god but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this pamper day at home for my girls on a budget type of vlog in the house vlog or whatever make sure that you like so I know that you like this type of content so I can do it more in the future um tell me in the comments also if y'all have tried any of these things at home yourself and like how you like them um but yeah other than that thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one my mama's